Hello and welcome to our Days Factorial C block. This is episode 526 and we're playing along with Mr. Hug who's actually playing Mario instead. So let's roll. I'm back. Welcome back. Yeah, so fun fact, one of the things I figured out that could be modeled concrete bricks, which are used in basically all the advanced buildings. Okay. Which I had just like that had been running on like single factories and just having a buffer here and there. <laughs> so you know that's gonna be interesting. I'm still yeah, help. I'm still low on the stone bricks though. Like that's gonna be a little bit of a backlog to catch up. I guess we can uh, duplicate you guys maybe, but that doesn't quite fit. Hmm. Let's put you up here then. Maybe twice even. Let's not take half measures. Phase one done, phase two, this is the quick phase. So we just hit him with these twice. Once. And twice. And now the slow phase. One, I think maybe it's only two because there's already three faces, but I don't remember. Might have to do this three times as well. it excellent just grab the star and then we have the seven minute credits break Two weeks? the only i remember is somewhere in the credits i have to mash text <laughs> but i don't know where so i'll just take the controller with me and mash while i grab some water have a toilet break and I can also wait for the actual credits to play, I suppose. Unless the matching text is after that. No, I'll figure it out. I'll get some water first and hope that the matching text is done after that. <laughs> All right. See you in bits. See you. Yeah. It's good. It's interesting how in games, you know, you're, you're, you can just play them and you can push them to their limits and each of those gives just a different kind of experience. And they're all enjoyable in different ways and I guess like the best games are, can facilitate both. Though not necessarily, like you can focus on one and the, or the other, right? You can focus on more of the hardcore experience and, and uh, yeah, basically go nuts on that. 
I guess. Yeah, there's definitely. I think I, I haven't ever played it, but Super Meat Boy is probably in that category. I'm pretty sure that's that's aimed towards that audience. And there's also like there's a couple of games that are definitely aimed towards speedrunners and not very much. And I guess Dark Souls, right? Dark Souls is is probably best known as as the hard game, which people just play not because it's well i guess also because it's fun but mainly because it's hard not in spite of it being hard let's see we're gonna have to uh, improve some stuff here still but we're yeah, we're still waiting for some upgrade but i guess we can squeeze in a, a speed module here or there in the ones that haven't have been ha ha have not been upgraded yeah I guess uh, we might also want to issue some more electricity then. Ooh, like big chance we're gonna need it. We're, we're still like eating some uh, some additional uh, resources and stuff, and that's definitely gonna have a little bit of a power draw. Yeah, good stuff, good stuff. Lacking a little bit of those, but we're definitely soon gonna have enough for these guys. Let's add in the speed modules where necessary. Yeah. I'm kind of tempted to wait out these few last ones because after they're done, like this is the most urgent one, right? Actually, it looks like we're we're gonna be somewhat fine. Yeah, they're disabled by control behavior. That's actually kind of sweet. But that probably means is that we're still not getting enough in here. Um, but yeah, then I guess we probably have to build out our uh, our tungsten production. Oh. oh, we need to up our requests on this end like okay well let's do that then uh how are we doing robot wise are we robo limited or not not by a long shot even um yeah interesting definitely not what i was expecting per se but uh, we should have a couple of them on the way yeah one two more those are being produced so that's good Meanwhile, on Mr. Hug's stream, we have a sleeping Luigi being peaceful. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Two more to be placed and then we are uh, we're actually way out of the just to check we can't yeah no we can't fish a pro prop module this but yeah that makes sense or i guess yeah we just wanna do something with that you guys can go into the network same issue same issue yeah, and if we look at what do these guys we already upgraded these but i guess we need more of you let's make sure that's in line with some of these guys like here seems reasonable and then i guess if we copy that we can scale it up a little bit more but then i guess we're gonna need more crushed ones as well no though we're actually 
looking to be kind of okay on that. These guys seem to be doing fine. Yeah. Mm. A lot of lonely bots here. Oh, this is disjoint from the network, huh? So let's grab you out of the air then. We don't need your kind. Too bad. We lost out on a little there, but that's okay. Uh, yeah. For you guys, yeah, you guys definitely need more of these ones. Yeah, and here we just need to fill this in. And yeah, we have not enough construction bots to do everything, which is fine. You guys are okay. Are you guys doing? You guys are even limited. So we should have plenty of throughput to get to the amount of crushed stereotype that we need. And we just need to up uh, you guys. Yeah. And these guys, oh, we're now we're running into issues with, with, it's still not with pink science, it's with blue. You would expect it to be pink, but, okay, what's going on over with you guys? We're short on. Okay, we're short on these guys, but why? Because, oh, because we're short on these guys. Which is because we're short on glass. Okay. What about you guys? You guys are clearly short on something too. Yeah, you're short on glass mixture. And then if we look at these guys. Ah, you're short on lime. But this is, wait, this is the backup one, right? Or is it? No, it's not. Okay. Wait, did we mix in different ones here? Ah, we did. We have both the level three and... Wait, what? It is just, yeah, okay. We mixed both kinds of recipes. Okay, yeah. And we're short on everything. This this is kind of weird though. I don't know if I did that on purpose. This looks very haphazard. Anyways, yeah, so we need we need more lime to actually make it to the Yeah. Mm. Let's see, are we, we could confiscate these guys. I think that makes sense. Let's do that. It's gonna t uh, give us a little bit of a hit on the, on the sulfur production, which probably still isn't great. It is great. Okay, excellent. That's good. Yeah. So we're gonna steal a little bit here. Uh, oh, priority to the left. Oh, hello, hello. Hello, hello. The credits are actually 10 minutes instead of seven. Well, that's good to know Even next time. More of a break, yeah. And uh, text was at about two and a half minutes. I had to mesh for a bit. Oh. Uh, 
the gateway, so that's up there. And it sounded like you were in the middle of refactoring something or upgrading something. Yeah, I'm just uh, we're working away bottlenecks. It's right. interesting that uh, so basically the design system is a little bit different here, but there's like after blue, there's pink, purple, and yellow science, which I guess yeah, purple and yellow is normal, and the pink sort of got squeezed in between. Mm -hmm. um, but now I'm using doing research that takes the first four, but the bottleneck is on the blue science still. Right. Right. Then again, I guess I didn't fully manage that properly. Not getting like strictly all the prerequisites in the required amounts. Mm. So we're, I'm only running into that if it's yeah if it's in a little bit of a weird spot. Which it definitely is right now. Um. Yeah, so the thing that I'm using to get more sulfur is also the thing that, technically speaking, I need for glass production, and that's sort of uh, messy. Right. Yeah, they are now basically pushing each other out. Yeah. And basically, I'm trying to get all the sulfur stuff just off the network so that it it runs itself. And okay. then just, just, but then I need to tap in uh, in a couple of places to get some out into the network to actually yeah to actually use use yeah. camera I did not think it was possible but... you know what let's hope we don't need these let's look elsewhere first although there may be exactly a hundred on this level need to wait for the star to run out which based on the music is happening anytime now yeah there we go now I can jump again I think there were exactly a hundred in this level. Booth Boneyard is apparently a hungry Luma level. 
Ah, it must be the one that just appeared. Who's Boneyard? I think that's another race. Yes. is coming up, which means I should talk to Luigi. I should probably talk to Luigi before this one, actually. Ah, it might just work out. Come on. All right. Made it. Yeah, I should talk to Luigi now to make sure I get his letter in time. Oh, 
life. one is this? Oh, this is just a climb to the top one. And now we get to the boss, right? I think so. Yes, excellent. Two and a half minutes to, fail to kill the boss should be plenty of time. Oh, oh, there's one more. Okay, I thought he was already done. But he's done now. Yes, there should be a letter from Luigi now. There it is. Good egg. Luigi. Only high comment. Only high comment. Oh, so this game has one twenty stars as well. Yeah. yeah. So it's only. Uh, is it fifty six more? Yeah, and fifty five more. So uh, shines in uh, in sunshine is also one twenty. Yes. And then it's only SMV2 that's... Uh... Yeah, it has 242. Yeah. So yeah, Pancakes, I need 120 stars in this uh, game. But I expect to make it to about 90, maybe 100 before I call it quits for today. And then I'll do the last 20 or 30 tomorrow before starting Sunshine. That sort of works out in the sense that Sunshine also starts with uh, uh, about five minutes of cutscenes. So having that after about two hours is nice. It's a little moment for a break. Yeah, so I will be defeating Bowser again at the end of this. 
but you have to defeat him halfway through because the um, purple coin stars will be doing one after this one. Uh, only unlock after beating Bowser. So you have to fight him twice in this game. Yeah, so to sort of give a guess at how long I'm gonna take to complete Factorio. Mm -hmm. um, so at the, when I started streaming, uh, I basically finished the last part of the three science 200k research. And I'm now nearly halfway through the next one. Okay. So that's, uh, what, like uh, three and a half hours? Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Uh, so it's going to be at least, let's say, four more to complete this one. So then I guess if in, in a positive case, another 24 hours for the last three. Uh, and then I have some random ones. Uh which we need to research and some of them contain military i should probably scale that up a little bit but yeah right. so so the safe estimate yeah so basically it's gonna be at least another 20 hours or so yeah so between 20 and 50 i guess yeah that's gonna be interesting yeah it's uh yeah the on the one hand the end is a little bit boring on the other hand i am running into stuff that i really hadn't seen before so that's kind of cool fair enough yeah bit of both. it's it's not the stuff that you would i wouldn't say it's the fun challenges right i mean if you're really into it you can go ahead and, and get into ups optimization but that's mm -hmm. only if you expect it. Like if you don't know it's going to be a problem, it's really yeah. frustrating. Yeah. 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 Let me cut this episode. Thanks for watching and see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. It helps people like you find it too. Thanks.